Question 10 is all about buying books. Dev and Joe each buy a book. Dev pays with a £5 note and gets £1.5 change. Joe's book costs £7. Now I'm using different colours because we're dealing with two different people. And I'm just trying to do that to make it clear so we don't get confused with the numbers. What we've got to do is work out how much more does Joe's book cost than Dev's book. Okay, and we've got a nice big space for working out here. So let's look at Dev first of all. He's paying with a £5 note and gets £1.5 change. Well, if you take off your £1.5 from your £5 note, whatever's left will be how much Dev's book costs. Okay, now you could do that in your head, so you could say, well, if I take off my five pence, that would be four ninety-five, and if I take off my pounds, that would be three ninety-five. So Dev's book looks like it costs three ninety-five. If you want to do a column method to check, we can do. So nothing take away five, you can't do. So we've got to borrow one. But in this column, there's nothing to borrow, so we'd have to actually borrow from the five, which makes four. Now, you can't jump the one that you've borrowed all the way over to this column. It's got to go into the middle column first, which makes 10. Now we can borrow from that 10, which is 9. And the one we borrowed can now go to the end column to make 10. So, 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 0 is 9. And 4 take away 1 is 3. So, it is indeed £3.95 that Dev's book costs. Now let's move on to Joe. Joe's book, we already know, costs £7. So there's nothing to work out there. It just costs £7. So we're ready to do the last bit. How much more does Joe's book cost than Dev's book? Well, Joe's book, if I write it above Joe, was £7. Dev's book was £3.95. So how much more is £7 than £3.95? So that's going to be a subtraction. If we do the column method, we'd have to do it like this. 7 take away 395. Now again, there's lots of zeros involved, so this could be tricky. It might actually be easier in this point to say, well, actually, why don't we just count up from 3.95 to 7 pound? Because that may be easier. So if I count up from 3.95 to 4 pound, that's 5 pence. And then if I count up from 4 pound to 7 pound, that's 3 pound. So it looks like it's going to be 3 pound and 5 pence. Okay, but let's just double check. Nothing take away 5 we can't do, so we need to borrow one. Now we can't borrow from here, so we'd have to go to this column. That becomes 6, and that becomes 10. Remember, you can't jump across several columns. You've got to do it one stage at a time. So now we can borrow from this 10 to make 9. This now is the one that we borrowed. So now we have got 10 in this column. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 9 is 0. 6 take away 3 is 3. Don't forget to put your decimal point in and your pound sign. So the final answer is indeed £3.05. You may have noticed there I've used different ways of actually getting to the answers. Sometimes it might be easy to do a column method if there aren't any zeros involved, but really you should be able to do that anyway, so it's a good idea to practice. But sometimes you might find it easier to count up. So you could count up from £1.5 up to £5 and you'll still get £3.95. And you could have counted up from £3.95 up to £7 and you'll still get £3.05 for your change. Different methods, it's up to you which one you use, but you should really be able to do both.